All right, so this is Princess. And I know it looks like I'm hurting her, but I'm really not, I promise. Uh, you can hold them by these, these wing bones here and it kind of puts them a little bit of ease. Uh, it does restrict movement too, so uh, they don't fight. Uh, so one of my viewers said that Princess looks terrible. And I agree, she does, she looks absolutely terrible. Uh, so right now, what's happening, the reason she looks like she's beat to hell, you'll notice those feathers there, is because Princess is doing something that all birds do. Let me see if I can kneel in a place that doesn't have, have a bunch of dookie. I'm going to put her between my legs here. So if you look at these wings, Angel, uh, uh, sorry, Princess has something called Angel Wing first which is why her wings look the way they do. Uh, but second, Princess is currently going through something called molting. And you'll see here that the feather is kind of working its way out. And I bet if I pulled on this just a little bit, it'd probably come out now. And I'm not gonna pull on it too hard because uh, I could potentially make her bleed. But if you see right here, all the holes, so the feathers do fall out and in their places a new feather will regrow so this one is on its way out uh, like I said I'm not gonna pull on it a whole bunch because I, I don't want to hurt her but all these feathers they do come out uh, unfortunately with angel wing often it's the uh, primary flight feathers that point out the most uh, and make it look absolutely terrible uh, they should be pointing in like this but this last knuckle here uh, where I showed you all the all the holes this last knuckle right here uh, tilts outward and then you get this so it doesn't hurt them it doesn't cause any sort of an issue uh, in wild populations this is a death knell uh, they can't fly so in domestic breeds like princess a pilgrim she is not intended to fly uh, they don't have the wing strength to do so. See, here's one. Just came right out. Uh, so, angel wing isn't really a big deal. Uh, it just looks ugly. And, uh, you know, un unfortunately it doesn't self-resolve. So she'll be like this for the rest of her life. Another, you know, 20 years. Because uh, I have no intention of calling or killing a, uh, my sweet princess here. She's going to be a mommy someday and uh, make me a bunch of little goslings. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is just one of those things. And you see how deep that feather goes into them wings, that kind of dark line right about here. So that goes all into that wing. Uh, oftentimes when you see blood uh, on a wing of a, a goose, they break. And uh, the reason for that, all that blood is the feather is actually hollow and veins go up into it. Uh, to support feather growth so when they break they often break like right here and there's veins up in here so they bleed a lot uh, it looks worse than it is that kind of stuff happens all the time so now that I know princess is just uh, molting see she's got even got feathers just falling off um, and I know there's nothing really wrong with her uh, we can rest assured that princess is happy and healthy she just looks like hell right now okay. and I'm just pulling lightly I'm not actually really pulling hard at all they just kind of fall right out so there's another one all right so we'll say goodbye to our sweet princess here what do you think darling I'm sorry I had to catch you I know, it's no fun. Yeah, she's a good goose. See, I'm not even holding her now. What do you think? All right. See ya. All right, so now we know what it is. Angel wing, and she's just, uh, uh she's just molting. No big deal. So, we're all good. I, uh, you guys are probably watching me wrestle princess. But, uh, 
I'll see you guys later. Have a good day and be safe.